Hey there everybody, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to my tutorial for this adorable baby dragon. So this guy is just a regular generic baby dragon, but I thought he would be a great tutorial because it gives you a chance to use up all those colors of bands that you don't know what to do with. Because you could essentially make this guy any color you want. Um, this guy I used warm fire colors. Um, you could use any colors. You could use ice colors, earth colors, you could do a whole nest of different colored baby dragons. Um, and you don't have to follow this tutorial exactly. You can change things around. You can make the horns longer, shorter. Um, you could put less or more spikes on him. Um, you could put spots on him. So you could essentially make yours totally unique from mine. Okay, but he has a pretty neat anatomy the way his body is. Okay, so I just wanted to put this video out because I think he's absolutely adorable. So check the description, or the band, yeah, check the description because the band counts in there. Um, give or take a few a few bands in each color if you are going to do a little bit of a variation. Um, I also recommend that you get some wire to pose him with. It's good because then you can pose his wings, pose his feet. Okay, um, so feel free to get some 20 gauge wire is perfect for this little guy. Okay. All right, um, let's begin here. Okay, I'm gonna be doing my second dragon in teal colors. All right, we're gonna start with the head. All right, um, if you want to get this part over with, make about 34 spikes if you want it to be like mine, 34 little spikes. So how to make a spike. I'm gonna use clear for mine. You're going to wrap a band around your hook, creating five loops. Then you're going to double loop one, put it on and pull that cap band on, reclaim the end, and there's your spike. You, you can feel free to make yours longer if you want to by adding more bands onto this. Um, but I'm going to keep mine short, so make about 34 of those. All right, and then we're going to move on to the head and neck. So let's take our body color here and we're going to start by placing two at a time right down the middle. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna do the same over here. Now, if you want to add teeth to him, to his the inside of his jaw here, that in here, you're going to attach the tooth to these bands as you put them on. So you would put a tooth around this band, like you just wrap a white band around there a few times. I think he looks better without teeth because he looks more like a baby without teeth. You put a tooth on this one, on this one, and on this one. And then you do the same on the other side. So you want both sides to be symmetrical. These are all two bands at a time. None of these are double looped. Now we are going to double loop one, two, three, okay, and the rest we're going to do two single bands, so two there, two there. two there, two here, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make the nostrils. So I'm going to use black for my nostrils. You can use black, pink, any color you want. You're going to wrap it around your hook, creating five loops. You're going to do the same with the second one. Then you're going to take two of your body color, pull them on.
Okay, like that. One end goes around this peg, the other end goes around this one. And then you're gonna spread the nostrils apart and then go in between them, grab the top two loops or bands and put them around the peg. So two bands are over, two bands are under. Okay. We're gonna cap off right here with another teal, wrap it around creating four loops. Two, three, four. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the eyes. Okay, so you're gonna take your eyebrow color. I'm gonna keep mine the same as the body color. You're gonna wrap one band around creating five loops. Then you're gonna do the same with the second band. Then you're going to double loop one. Put it on your hook and pull the other two bands over it. All right. Then you're gonna take your eye color. I'm going to be using the, this is like mango or neon orange. Another good color to use is the chartreuse. If you have chartreuse, it's like a bright yellow green. Yeah, let's use chartreuse. You're going to wrap it around creating four loops. Then you're gonna take a black, wrap that around creating four loops. Then we're gonna take one loop of the chartreuse, bring it over to the other side of the black, then follow the second loop over to the other side. So it's crisscrossed at one end, okay? And we're going to bring the eyebrow over the eye, like so. We're gonna push that down and do a second one, exactly the same. So wrap a band around creating five loops, wrap a second band around creating five loops, Double loop a third. Pull the other two over onto that double loop. Push down, put your finger through the loops here while we do the eye, chartreuse or whatever color. Wrap around creating four loops. Trying to make sure it's not like twisted up too badly. Take a black. Wrap around creating four loops. Two loops of the chartreuse over onto the other side of the black. Eyebrow over. Take two bands onto your hook and pull the eyes onto these two bands. So you wanna go in order here, so take your time. First pull over the edge, then pull over the eye color here, then pull over the black and the other eye color. Push down as you go, pull over the rest of that eye, then we're gonna do this eye. Uh-oh, something got funky here. Hold on. Something went wrong with my eye. There we go. Okay. So we're going to attach these loops here and here. Okay, so the end loops go there and there. Okay, we're gonna spread the eyes apart and we're gonna split the bands between them in half. Just like we did with the nose. Okay, so we're taking two of those bands And we're gonna pull it over this peg here. Okay, so notice that I pulled it over this peg and not this one. So the eyes are over these two and this one. If you put it over this peg and not this one, your dragon's gonna have a dopey look. It's not gonna be as fierce, okay? So if, again, if you wrap it, these, the middle bands around here, he's gonna have a dopier look to him. A lot of people were making that mistake on my dinosaur tutorials. Um, but if you like the way that looks, that's fine. All right, we're gonna start looping, and as we go, we're gonna attach a few things here. So I'm gonna loop over there, dig down past the cat band with the next one, and the bottom two loop up. Now, if you want to do a nose spike, we're gonna attach it right there. The nose spike is the same as the back spikes, 
but you could always make it longer if you want. So it's a cap band followed by a single double looped band. Okay, and you're going to lift up the set we just looped. You're going to pull that on there. Put it back on. Okay. If you want a nose spike. All right, so next I'm going to take a body color again, wrap it around my hook, creating five loops. As I loop up this next one here, I'm going to pull that band onto it. This gives him like a little ridge on his nose, which I think is kind of cute. You don't need to do this. You can just loop the bands up without attaching these, but I think it looks cute. Okay, do another one. Okay, so now the rest of the way up the center column, we're going to attach a spike to each one, unless you're changing yours up. Okay, so I'm going to attach a spike as I go up. So each one that I loop, I'm pulling a spike onto. best to make sure the eyes are standing up. Okay, so now I'm going to go up the side here. One, two, three times. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three times. And now we're going to attach the horns. So I tried to make webbed um, horns for, like I had filmed this before and I tried to make webbed horns and it looked awful <laughs> the way I did it. So, because I'm trying to make an aquatic dragon, but it didn't end up looking good. So now I'm doing regular horns. To make your horns, you're going to take a horn color. I'm going to use white. Wrap it around creating five loops. Double loop of white and pull that cap band onto it, just like we've been doing with the spikes. Reclaim the loop. Take another double looped band and pull it on. Okay, then take three. Pull that on and then you wanna do three of your body color. Now, as you loop this next band, you're going to pull that on. You can always make your horn longer or shorter than I did. After you do that, you're just going to loop up the rest of the way. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. So you want to make another horn. I have mine already made here. gonna tie off our ends using slip so we're gonna make slip knots at the end with any color band it doesn't matter because we will be taking these bands off eventually so you could use a bright orange black it doesn't matter and then we're going to use our hook from the bottom and gently pry him off adjust it after we pull it off because some things are going to be in the wrong direction. Okay. So if the eyes look like that, you want to pull them together and push up from the inside so they show more from the sides. Okay. There's his little horns. Now his spikes, you want to make sure they're all pointing up. 
Some of them might get caught underneath. There's his little horns. Hee <laughs> hee. So there is his little face. Now if you want to change the direction of the horns at all, what you would do is you'd stick your hook into the part where you want it to bend, maybe through the green, and then tug the horn in the direction you want it to be. Okay, so now it's pointing up instead of out, and we'll do the same th thing here. Okay, so there he is with his little horns. All right. Very cute. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make his feet, okay? You're going to make four. I'm going to show you how to make one to start, okay? So you're going to take your claw color. I'm going to use the white again. Wrap it around your hook, creating five loops. Take another one, double loop it. Pull the first one onto the double looped one, just like we did with the spikes. That's a claw. Now you're going to take a body color. I'm, I am doing his feet a pale green and his leg the body color. You can keep the feet the body color if you want. Double loop the color you want for the toe part. Pull it onto there. There's one. Okay, let's do another toe the same exact way. Okay, and we're going to do one more the same way. Okay, so we have three toes that are the same. So now you're going to double loop the same color, and we're going to pull those three toes onto it. Okay, push that down on your hook and put your finger through the opening, and now you want to take two bands, wrap them creating three loops on the hook. So there's two bands there, I'm wrapping creating three loops. Then I'm going to take the other end and put it back on over the other side, so it looks like that. Then you're going to take three bands and we're going to pull in order all those bands on the hook over onto the three. We clean the end there. Now we have to make one more toe. Two, three, four, five. So it's the same exact way we made the other toes right next to the foot. Take three bands, pull the toe on and pull the foot onto those three bands, and then you reclaim the loops like that. So that is one foot, okay? You can tie off the end if you want to. You need to make four of these. You can make them all the same because watch. Let me get my other foot and I'll show you what I mean. When you make them, all the, the thumbs are going to be on the same side. Okay, but then, like so, for example, let's pretend these are the two front feet here. Okay, the toes are on the same side, the, the thumbs. So you're going to take one foot, and what you're going to do is you're going to pull, you're going to stretch it out and push the thumb through the three bands onto the other side. So now you have two opposite feet. 
Okay, so you're gonna do that with the front foot and the back foot. Okay, so make four feet, two front feet and two back feet. Now we're gonna do the legs. Okay, so here is the changer loom to rectangular configuration. So we're going to do the leg for the front foot first. It's nice and easy. Take two bands at a time. This is the body color. Okay. Two across there. Two across there. Now we're going to take three. Three bands here. Three bands here. And three bands there. Okay, and then we're going to take three or two bands across here. Okay, now you want to take your foot, put your hook through the six loops, take off that tying band. Okay, and I'm going to attach it with the thumb facing down. Okay, so the thumb is facing down right now. And then I'm going to loop up these three sets. Now, if you want to add polka dots on here, we can do that now. So I'm going to do some clear ones. So I'm going to take one wrap around creating five loops. We're going to grab these two guys. And as we loop up, we're going to pull the polka dots on. Okay, and then we're going to loop up that guy. Do another polka dot on the other side. Okay, we'll loop up once here in the middle and we'll put one more polka dot here. Again, these polka dots are optional. I didn't put them on my red dra on my orange dragon. I'm gonna put some on this guy. Then we're gonna tie off the ends here. So then we're going to pull this off, okay, so you're going to make another front leg, the same as this one, and then what's going to happen is, okay, so we have, oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong leg, that's the back leg, okay. You can go through the last set in the foot here and tug on it to get the foot to bend like that if you want to. Oops, that was the wrong set. I'm going to put it through the set instead. Wherever you want it to bend, it's up to you. Totally up to you. We're going to untwist the bands here because sometimes they get twisted up and we want the leg to be nice and neat. So stick your hook through the sets and just neaten them up. Okay, so the spots, if you added spots, they're going to be on the outside of the leg, okay? So if you happen to make two legs with the thumbs on the same side, two front legs with the thumbs on the same side, all you got to do is just do what we did before and push the th one of the thumbs through to the... Oh, no, all you got to do is just... Put your hook through the foot and tug like this and then the foot actually faces the other direction 
Does that make sense? So you'll have two opposite feet. Okay. So all you really had to do was the foot was facing this way. You just got to put your hook in and tug so the foot faces that way. And then you have two opposite feet. Okay. We're going to do the same for the back foot. The back foot's a little thicker at the top of the thigh area. But it's pretty much the same as the front foot. Oh, I'm sorry. That was not right. Okay, so it looks like that. And then put these two going that way and these two going this way. And then put two here, two there. Then we take three here and three more here. All right, we take two across here, two across here, a double looped across here. Okay, so we're going to take our last little foot. Okay, we're going to attach it so the thumb is facing down. And we will loop up once, twice. We'll loop up this set and this set. And we'll then loop up these two toward the center. And oops, these two. We'll attach a spot. Three, four, five, right here. And loop up one more time in the middle. We'll attach a spot here. Loop up once and put one more spot here. Alright, we'll do the same on the other side. So a spot here. Loop up and another spot here. Okay, let's tie off our three ends at the top. So there is a back leg. Okay, and again, I'm going to stick my hook through the foot and tug on it so the foot is flat on the back, facing flat. And if your foot is like sprawled outward, you could do the same thing by going through the side and tugging the way you want it to bend, and it'll sprawl straight. Make sure your bands here are not tangled. Stick your hook through and organize them if they are. Make a second back leg. Okay, if the toes are on the same side, just flip the leg this way and do the hook thing like we did with the front legs, so they're opposite. Okay? All right. So now we're going to do his wing. Okay? Here is the one I've done. Okay? So we're going to take the color of the inside of the wing. That's this part. It's for me. It's the shiny teal. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to Take two at a time. We're going to go down six times. Three, four, 
five, six. Cap off the bottom by wrapping it around, creating four loops. Okay. We're going to make a claw. Okay, this little claw thing. So take a band, whatever color you want the claw to be, mine are white. Wrap it around, creating five loops. All right, take another one, double loop it. Pull the cap band onto it. Reclaim the loop. Take two bands of the color of the inside of the wing. This is actually better. Instead of using this color, use whatever color you're going to use here. Okay. Now I'm using this color because I did I did that for this wing, but it, it will look better in the end if you actually use the color of the vein for these two bands here instead of this color. Okay, but since I already did this on my other wing, I'm doing it on this wing. So this we're gonna attach right here. Okay. We're gonna make another one. I have mine already made. Okay, so make another one the exact same way, and that's gonna go on this peg here, and then one more is gonna go on this peg here. Okay, we're gonna push those bands down, and we're gonna take two bands of the color of the inside of the wing, so whatever color this one is. Take two bands of that. Put it on to here. Where's my thing? Design. Give me a second. Five. One, two. Yeah. Okay. Two here. Two there and two here. Okay. Now we're gonna loop this up. Dig below the cap band. Loop up once, dig down, loop up twice, loop up a third time, fourth time, oops. So we're just looping over those bands that are laying on the peg as if they're not even there. Okay, we're going to tie this off, this end here, we're going to pull this off. So what you want to do here is you want to pull these loose bands to the opposite end of where the claws are. So the claws are on that end, so I'm going to pull them toward this, this end. Like that. So it looks like this. All right, you're going to set that down, and now we're going to work on the rest of the wing. So we're taking two bands at a time of the vein color. I'm making my vein color the same as the body. So I'm using the teal. And now we're going to use the Inside the color, the inside of the wing. Okay, we're going to make a tip here. So you're going to take your claw color, wrap it around creating five loops on your hook. Double loop one. Okay. 
Hold it on. Reclaim it. Then just take two bands of your vein color. Reclaim it, and this gets put right here at the tip. So wrap those loops around the tip right there. Okay, so now we're going to take the teal, the color of this, okay, and we're going to double loop it. Double loop here, double loop here, double loop here, double loop there, and there, there. And there, okay. Now we're gonna do a claw on this side. So the same thing that we just did here, we're gonna do another one, okay? Same thing that you just did at the wing tip. Oops, something funky happened there. I gotta redo that. One, two, three, four, five. My finger is getting sore because these white bands are stiff, so it kind of hurts my fingers when I double loop them. It's probably what silicone oil is good for. Huh. Alright, and this we're going to attach right here. Okay. So that goes there. It's like really right in the center of, like it's one, two, three, four across right there. All right, now we're gonna take the other piece we made before. We're gonna go through that cap band at the bottom. So all four loops of the cap band, open that up. That wraps right around this peg here. Okay, and then we're gonna go through the four loops at the top. Pull that um, tying band off and wrap those four loops all the way up around this peg here. Okay. We're going to take two loops at a time, wrap them around these pegs so the loops that are hanging off the edge. like that okay those are our horizontal bands so literally we just created a wing that's four sets we're using only one loop all right we're gonna loop up the pale green here and we're gonna get these then we're gonna loop up the center row center column go back and loop up this column so dig way down to the, for the bottom two bands here we're gonna loop up ignoring the set that's hanging off the edge as if it's not even there here we're gonna grab the top two loop those over and these and we will go up the final column And we will tie off the ends here. All right.
right, so now we're gonna put the veins on here. So we're gonna open up the hole below this claw and below this green row. There's a hole right below. We're gonna go through that hole from the back. Take two bands of the vein color and pull it through the hole. Okay, then go through the next hole and grab the other edge. Do the next two, pull it through. Open up the next hole. Two more here. Okay, then grab one more. This last one, this one is gonna go through all the bands and then you're going to wrap it over the claw on one end and then over the claw with the other end. And then just tug a little bit, not too much. So there's one vein. So now to get to the next one, we're gonna go diagonally. So again, we're going back through the same hole we started in. We're taking two and we're going diagonally outward. Pull a single band through. So each of these veins uses the same amount of bands as the others. Pull it through. Uh, there we go. Pull the other one through the other way. All right, and we'll do one more here. I'll go in the other way. So back in. Go diagonally. something funky happened here. Got to start that one over. ends over and we have a wing okay there you go so go ahead and make one more so you have two okay all right now we're gonna work on the main body okay so take your loom this is gonna be done in two parts here okay Take your body color. For me, that's the teal. Okay, we're going to start at this peg here. So we're not starting at the end. We're taking two at a time. And this column, we're going to go straight down. one we're gonna go down four times so one two three four and then we're gonna go outward diagonally so there we're gonna go down four times so one two three four and then we're gonna go diagonally back in like that okay then we're gonna finish off going down the center here Push down these bands. All right, we're gonna take two bands across here, two across here, two across here, two across here, two across these three, two across these three, Two across these three, two across these three, two across these. Okay, push these down on this side. Okay, we're going to take two and lay them on the pegs like this. 
Okay. Just like that. Not on these upper ones, just the bottom. I'm sorry, not this one. Just these five. All right, take your head, hold it so it's right side up. Go through the middle set. So we're going through the set of the teal, not the attaching, not the um, tied off set. We're going to wrap it right around this peg here on the side. So the middle set gets wrapped around there. This set's going to be hanging off for now. The other set on this side, you want to make sure you go through the loops, not between them. It might help to take off the tying band just to make sure you went through the right one. Make sure you went through the loops. Wrap those guys around this peg. Fix these bands if any fell off. Okay, you're gonna take your front, one of your front legs, okay? The spots should be up and the thumb should be down. Spots should be up, thumb should, thumb should be down. We're gonna attach it to these three pegs here. So go through these loose ends. If it's easier for you, pull off the tying bands as you go. You just wanna make sure it doesn't lift off the peg if you do that, because it could get ruined. and we're going to take our back leg, again, spots are up, thumb is down. We're going to attach that to these three pegs here. So we'll go through the loop, undo the loop. And the next one. And the last one. Make sure these ends stay on so they don't ruin anything. Just push down. Make sure these bands are back on the pegs. Where'd they all go? Two here, two here, two here. No one there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start looping. And as we go, we're going to attach the wing. Okay, sorry, I had to check something there <laughs> on my phone. It was supposed to be somewhere pretty soon. I just had to check to make sure nothing was changed. All right, as we loop up the spine here, we're gonna attach spikes. Okay, so we're gonna loop up this guy. Sometimes it's tricky looping with a crochet hook. Okay, right over those loose bands. Make sure those loose bands don't get tangled up. And remember, you don't have to attach a spike to every set. If you want to make yours different, that's fine.
Okay. Now I'm going to loop up this first top set here. And then I'm going to get these guys. So I'm going to go diagonally and I'm going to loop up this column up to here. And we're going to grab a wing, either one. And we're going to hold it so the top spike is facing the head. Okay, you don't want to attach it upside down. Go through the loops of the dark color, the vein color. And those will go right around this peg. And you loop up. So the wing is essentially facing upward when we attach it here. Okay, next set. Loop up. And final set. Make sure all the loops are wrapped around the peg. It's annoying when one isn't wrapped around. Loop up to here, and then we'll get this diagonal guy. Okay, and then we want to get these. Okay, so now we're going to tie off these two ends. off. It's going to look a little strange because it's only about half of the body. So don't be afraid if you did that you did something wrong because it is supposed to look a little strange. Okay. So these loose bands we're going to tug toward this side. Okay. You have a, a set at the end of the neck that's not attached to anything and then it's super loose back here which is supposed to be that way. So these bands we're also going to tug out though they don't come out as far because they're attached further inward. Okay, so like that. All right. Yay, let's do the other half of the body. Okay, this one's not going to take quite as long. It's a little bit shorter. So we're going to start here. All right, we're going to attach the other end of the neck to the bottom peg. So we'll pull off that tying band. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start pulling these bands over. So these two will get pulled over these two pegs. These two will pull over these, these go over these. You can kind of tug him upward a little bit to help keep the bands from overstretching. And these will go here. Okay, so what we want to do now is we're going to take the other front leg and we're going to attach that to these three pegs. So again, spots are up, thumb is down. So I'm going to dig down and loop up these two, and then I'm going to do the, these guys. And I'm going to go up to here, so I'm going to dig down and go up, up again, three, four. Okay, so now we're going to take our other wing, 
go through the dark part of the wing. Make sure the spike is facing the head when you attach it. Okay, so this will go here. Loop up the next set. The middle set will get wrapped around the next guy. Loop up. And this final set will wrap around this guy. Right, and we will loop up to there and stop, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to lift a few sets off from the bottom, just a few, not too many. So let's lift off four. So there's one, two, there's three, here's four. Okay, what we're going to do now we're going to take this set of bands from the body, the set that's a little inward more, wrap around that peg. And we're going to loop up the next two sets. And we're going to lift off one more set. Go through the next two, wrap around here. And we can do the next two. We can tug it up a little bit to help us. And the final two, we'll go around this one. Okay. Back leg gets attached to these three pegs. Again, make sure these spots are up. Thumb is down. We can just loop up the rest of the way here and tie the sky off. And gently lift off the rest of him. Yay! How cute is that? It's so cute. All right, so I'm taking off any tying bands that are still on him except for these at the end. All right, so now we're gonna do his tail. All right, so we're taking three bands here, three bands here, and we're gonna take two here Two there, two there, two there, two there. It's at that moment where I'm like, gosh, I hope I have enough of these teal bands to do this, to finish this guy. Ah. These are all two bands at a time. Except for these um, top ones were three and three. The rest are two. For the horizontals, I'm going to double loop them all. So we're double looping single bands for this. Just like that. Okay, we're going to put a few across here and here and here and here and here. Okay. All right, we're gonna attach the three loose ends to these three pegs. Okay, 
Okay, as if you're pulling off the tying band, as you attach, just remember to push them down far on the peg, the bands, so they don't come undone or come off the peg and unravel. Okay, so as we loop up the center set, we're going to attach spikes. Yay! So, loop up, pull on a spike. Loop up, pull on a spike. Loop up. Spike. Loop up. Pull on spike. Okay, this next one's a little tricky, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this one spike to my regular hook. It's easier that way. Alright. We're gonna take the two diagonals at the top, these two, and you're gonna pull the spike on as you loop them. Now what we have to do is we have to stick our hook back through those bottom loops of the spike as we loop up the other set and we want to pull the other set through the loops as well that will center the spike on the bands. Okay, so this both sets are through the spike. Okay, let's go up the side here. Okay, we're going to do the same with the next five sets. Okay, so I'm going to pull the spike onto my hook. Okay, pull it onto this set. Go back through it. Pull it through this set. Oh gosh, this is tricky. All right. You gotta kind of be patient with it and just don't get frustrated. Just you'll get it eventually. Just take your time. There we go. Now what I used to do is I used to attach the spikes to these, but then they, they turn the opposite direction and then I didn't end up end up liking the way that looked. So that's why I've figured out this technique instead. Okay, here we go again. Pull it onto this set. Now go back through the loops. As you loop up the other set, pull through. Do it again. Do that two more times. This is the trickiest, trickiest part of the tail. Once you master it, you're good. Attach two more to these guys as we go up. One there and one more here. Oops. Okay, I'm going to stick my hook through the end here as I pull it off. Gently, gently pull it off.
Yay! Adjust your spikes. Okay. How cute. Okay. We're just going to make the tail a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Your double loop here from halfway down. So we're going to do double loop there. Double loop here. Double loop here. Then three. And three here. Okay, attach the end right around here, all six loops with the spikes facing up. And we're just going to loop up and attach a spike. To these guys. As we go up. I made a few extra, but that's okay. All right, and I'm just going to Take a single band through the end and tie a slip knot. And there we go. All right, so what you may want to do is hide the slip knot into the band. So you go through the second set, pull the slip knot through, then go into the third set, pull it through that one, and just zigzag it back and forth. So um, unfortunately I have to pause here, but um, just go to part two and we will finish him up. We'll do his stomach and we'll attach it. He looks really cute. I hope yours looks adorable so far. I will see you over at part two.